Hello everybody, this is Elissa from Mink Arts and Crafts, and today I have another small shop haul for you all. Uh, this one's got a little bit different for you because it's not going to be just diamond, diamond painting supplies. I've got a little bit of some extra goodies over here for you all that I think you'll enjoy. Uh, so, <laughs> this one's going to be kind of a little bit fun as well. I think you guys will enjoy it. So today we have uh, some, a couple, well, a three new to me uh, things, and you'll see it's a very, going to be a very um, washi tape heavy small shop haul, because uh, you'll see washi tape from three different shops. So we'll have washi tape from Amanda M Michelle Designs, uh, Simply Gilded, and then uh, we've got uh, some goodies from Bev P., uh, who's a fellow YouTuber. And then we've got some uh, prints, some art prints, and some washi tape from Jeremiah Kettner, which if you follow him on uh, Instagram at all, he goes by the Instagram tag of small and round. So we'll be seeing both some of his prints as well as some washi tape from him as well. So stay tuned for these goodies down here. I'm excited for that. So first off, we're going to open up the washi tape from Amanda Michelle, which is a new to me shop that I only recently discovered from some fellow uh, diamond painters that were uh, raving about this. Uh, so I kind of went a little bit crazy because I was like, hey, I'm ordering some washi tape. It was a good price for all of these washi tapes. Uh, and I think some of them were on sale as well. So I just kind of like went through the shop, ordered all sorts of things. There's a lot of goodies in here. So there's a code for 15% off my next order. That's nice. What? This is like the little freebie pack. Nice. I'm gonna take that off. I always like to look at what the freebies are. Uh, so this is Amanda Michelle Designs. I need to save that so I can actually use that. But look at the stickers. Ooh. So this is just a little card and look at all of these like I think these are just things to oh that you could like washi tape into your journal I guess I think some of these are stickers and maybe I can't tell I think these are things that you would like use your washi tape to put them into your um your journal because most people journal uh, so I think that's what all of these goodies are right there. I'm going to put these back in the little bag. Here I am thinking that they're just going to be straight stickers because that's what I'm so used to. But I think they're just like a little pack of goodies uh, to put in for like freeform journaling, I guess. Uh, so when you do things like that, like I've, I've heard people call it like junk journaling is what they call it or other things like that. But that's really cute. Uh, so a little pack of things that you can decorate with from um, that shop. That's Amanda Michelle. Uh, now we're going to pull out the goods. Pull out, show me the money kind of a thing, right? All right, so I'm going to show you some of these different patterns that I went with. So this is kind of a mermaid pattern. So we've got that one there. I went with just some shiny green. I went with some plain ones. Uh, I went with this pattern with the gold leaf which kind of gave me an oriental vibe. Uh, just kind of like a plain uh, pink tone that you see there. So some of them were just like some simple shades. I went with uh, this um, black one, another one of the mermaid ones because it was a um, smaller roll. Let me see if we can do this without them uh, rolling all over the place. Here is just like this simple kind of like matte uh, green, a little bit wider that oriental. You've got the fans, those pretty colors, because of course I love any of like the oriental Japanese vibe because uh, I've lived in Japan, so I love that. Uh, this one gave me like very like rainbowy vibes, so I was like that would be nice. I'm trying to remember like I have to look back and see because I'm like I don't remember ordering like three black washi tapes oh no that's only two never mind I'm like I don't remember what all I ordered um so I'd have to look back at my list this one I thought was really pretty with these greens uh with like the lotus flowers 
Uh, I thought this one might go well with flower delivery to use for my flower delivery painting. So we'll see if I end up using that one for flower delivery. Pink flamingos because, um, you know, pink flamingos, that's a must. This one, Japanese vibes. So you've got some Tori Gates, you've got Fuji, you've got the whole, all of the things there. Uh, and then this one with like this silver chromatic look to it. So that was what I got from Amanda Michelle. So let me move them so you can actually see a little bit better. So that was my haul from there. And now we're gonna go into my washi from Simply Gilded. Let's see what I got from them. Make sure I open it slightly off so that way there is no packing slip in the way. Yep, packing slip right there, move it out of the way. So you'll see a theme with the ones that I have opened from Simply Gilded uh, because there's a specific pattern that I, or look that I enjoy. Uh, so, so that's just that. There's the little bit of the handful of freebies they give there. Uh, so here was this colorway right here. So there's one and then so I'm gonna put those two down and I'll stack them and then here you have these here so I like to use these thinner ones work really well for actually sectioning the actual canvas itself uh, whereas I like to use the wider one around the canvas but look at those ones it where it goes from that blue into this pale pink it's like I cleaned my fingernails I swear I did but then they start looking grungy. This one I thought was absolutely gorgeous. Look at the pink fading into the white with the gold trim there. And then ah, here's another set. Look at that one where it's got this bluish lavender fading into like pink there, but goes into, yep. And then you can kind of see where it picks up some of the yellows and greens into a little bit like even where it kind of has rainbow color. So that's not just one color because as I turn it, you can see how it's green, yellow, and then it kind of goes into the red. So it's that rainbow as we rotate it. So there's that one. And then we go into this one I thought would be fun for some of like these small fun kits that I have some of. Uh, where you have the this really vibrant like fluorescent pink that one will be fun for some will be good for some of these smaller fun kits uh, so that's that set and then I think these ones were just one-offs that were not oh yeah this one uh, really really loved this one with the green to the blue and the yellow that one was super cute and then these three were one-offs that one went running across my floor. So let me grab it before it goes. I rescued it right before it went underneath the bookshelf. Now it's got cat and dog hair. So you can see that my floor is not the cleanest. Uh, that's what happens when you have a pug and I forgot to empty the Roomba. So now it's got pug hair on it. Pug hair. She sheds all over everything. So this one is purple with this uh, mandalas on it. So look at the purple shimmery mandalas, because I've got a couple mandala paintings that that would go perfectly with. That one, uh, you can see has some flowers, some rabbits, some butterflies, but with this green to gold, I thought that like that was really pretty colors for that there. Uh, and then we roll into the last one. Look at that, I've got a couple like, Hawaiian landscapes that that is perfect for because that right there is actually like a classic scene in Hawaii so perfect so that's my simply gilded haul so like I said lots of washi tape so washi tape haul one washi tape haul two and as you can see they're very much themed all right now we are going to go into 
my haul from Bev over at Bev B as I go smacking into things. So here's our little goodie bag. So, boom, 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 boom. You know, like a little cat shaped for the bag for her little thank you. So here's her saying thank you so much, Alyssa. And then love Bev B. And then she has her shop, which is bevb.square.site. Uh, so you can go check, check her out. And then she also has her uh, Instagram um, and her YouTube. So you can check her out. And then there's a couple stickers. So not every season is easy for growing. Maybe right now is your time to be dormant. Step back and rest for a while. I love her. These stickers are great. It's normal to be overwhelmed sometimes. You're not going to fail. So some great inspirational stickers. So I'm gonna set these right here. And then, ooh, cream and sugar. I'm not gonna fight with trying to open it right now. And then we have the goodies, the goods all the goods so bev makes these gorgeous gorgeous bracelets i'm not normally a bracelet wearer so a lot of times like with some of these things here like some of them they'll just sit and just be gorgeous figures and then if i want to wear a bracelet i will so i got these bracelets and i'm going to show you some of them so uh and i will on occasion wear them um but if I don't wear them, some of them will just sit there and look gorgeous and decorate like with their beads uh, as like display things. And then on the rare occasion when I do go out and do something, I'll have a bracelet to wear. Um, Cause of course I'm limited on what I can wear in uniform. So this first one, this one I got in memory of my, my grandma, uh, my mom's mom. So she collected uh, elephants and loved elephants. So that's when I saw this one with this little elephant charm on it. That one I thought was absolutely perfect for uh, in memory of my grandma. So I had to get that one, which I'm actually gonna leave this. Well, I'll slide that pink over. So that's what I did for that one was in memory for my grandma. And I loved this one right here, like the simplicity of these beads. I love the simplicity of these beads. And I like this like bamboo shaped bead. I thought that was gorgeous. So these purples, like I love it. So I got that one as well. Uh, and then uh, this one here was just fun with like this cotton candy look to it. I thought that was just super fun. But look at that color. And then like this little gold accent in there. So that was a, that one was really pretty. Kind of like this nice, pleasant tone. I'm going to show those two last. And then here's another one. This one's very pale. So almost, it's got these, the palest tone of blue into it, but for the most part, it's like a pinkish blue. Uh, and then you've got the bamboo beads to it as well. And then this one, oh my goodness. I didn't even realize how much sparkle. That's like a fancy one. This one just glistens and sparkles with this lion on it. Ooh, wow, that's gorgeous. And these are like so affordable. Uh, they're listed in um, Canadian dollars, but they are so, so affordable, you guys, because of the exchange rate beneath, between uh, Canadian dollar to the US dollar. Uh, and uh, when I went on uh, to purchase them, she did have like a discount code on her website. Uh, and now we get to my two favorites. So I loved the combination of the pearl to the blue with this little silver accent. So I love that combination of that accent between, between the two. And then this last one is the one that I had her do as a custom for me. So this one right here is super, super pretty. So look at these pink crackle beads. They are gorgeous. And then she has these little boop as an accent and then look at this lotus flower i think that is beautiful super super pretty and that's the last one that i had which i ordered as a custom because she does do customs you just reach out to her and she'll coordinate with you and she has tons of different charms 
So that one right there is super pretty. I love that color. So those are all of the bracelets that I got uh, from Bev B. And they are beautiful. So washi tape, more washi tape, beautiful, beautiful bra bracelets made by one of our own. And now we're gonna go into the um, prints that I ordered. Um, so I have like all sorts of artwork. Uh, and when I find an artist that I like, and I actually, I collect artwork from artists that I like. And uh, some of the artwork I will actually hang as prints on my walls. Uh, and then other artwork I will actually, oh, here's our daily um, visit by Mochi. She's gotta come investigate because she's seeing what I have in my hand right here. So now she's like, it's not a box, but it's cardboard, so I have to sit on it. So I will collect artwork from the, or prints, um, from artists that I like the artwork from. Uh, and I will also, uh, like if it's something that I'm like, okay, this doesn't fit for me to hang it on my walls, then it's something that I will also collect and I'll kind of like have in like portfolios as well. Uh, so I will go over the prints that I got and then I also will show you that he did sell. So this is from Jeremiah Kettner. Um, and he also sells, so uh, you can see this is his website, smallandround.com. So on Instagram, he goes by small and round, uh, and then that's Jeremiah Kettner. Uh, so he has some really fun uh, diamond paintings uh, available on Diamond Art Club. Um, and uh, he's got some fun stuff on his uh, shop. And I picked up these three super fun washi tapes. So one of them is this hedgehog. Whoop, look at this cute little hedgehog doing different motions. So I picked up this hedgehog. I'm gonna put it over here. And then I picked up the axolotl. So you've got the little axolotl. I figured these would be perfect to use his washi tape when I work on his canvases. And then of course, a unicat. So look at those little key cats, cause he's got some gorgeous ones. So all, Okay, you've got to move now, little kidlet. Or at least let me lift these up. All right, so I'm gonna pull these out from underneath Mochi. There, she can sit there. So uh, I picked up a number of different prints, but I love artwork, so uh, I like, I love artwork. Um, so I picked up a number of different prints from him, and I'm gonna go through some of those prints for you all. So this first one, as you can see here, uh, he has the names on the back of them, so, well, not on this one. I'd have to look online to see exactly what they're titled as, but, okay, you need to move over, little one, so I can put these over there when I'm done. Come on. She's like, Mom. He, she's flinging her tail at me because she's not happy. Here, I'll move things out of your way a little bit. There we go. So I can put these here. So these are some of the prints that I picked up uh, from him. And I thought they were gorgeous. So again, so he actually splits his time between the States and Japan. So I picked up a lot of the uh, the prints that he had that had, as you'll see, a Japanese theme to them. And I love how gorgeous these are. So I picked up that one. And then this one, I loved that like really soft look of this one right here. That watercolor look of that, that's absolutely gorgeous. And I would love to do some of these in a diamond painting. That would be wonderful. She's absolutely gorgeous. And I love this cherry blossoms. Uh. Look at the Tori Gates, um, the Kitsunes, the mask, beautiful. Do not climb back up there, Mochi. Mochi's like, what are you doing, mom? I love how colorful he makes everything. She's like, what you doing, Mom? Ooh, and I love her tattoo. What, do not, no, you little brat child. Mochi's helping me. And then the last one, I loved this one. Look at the kitties and the butterflies. So those were the larger prints that I got of the ladies, the girls. Uh, with all of the colors. And then this is the smaller one. So that was in like the 
big huge box. He packaged it really well because it was in like this big huge massive box. Uh, I was like, what is this massive thing coming in? Couldn't figure it out. <laughs> and then it was all like taped to this mat board and everything. And I couldn't figure out what this massive everything was. Ooh, all of like these stickers just jumped on the floor. I'm like, oh my goodness, what are all these stickers? All right, Mochi, stop, no. The stickers, the escaping stickers. Hey, move yourself a little bit. All right, so now I'm gonna show you the other one. So here is small and round. So I'm gonna put that right over there. And then look at these. So, and here is his card, Jeremiah Kettner smallandround.com and then like here's his Instagram, Facebook and Twitter small and round so that will be that and look at these stickers aren't these gorgeous I definitely I did not order these stickers I think he threw them in for free because of all the other things that I ordered look at the Unikitty these are really cute stickers so these are stickers of his artwork So those are fun stickers. Um, so there's my packing sheet. Uh, I did pick Mochi's got to climb on all the other things. Uh, so Mochi, yeah, Mochi's climbing on all the other things. And then uh, some of these other ones were the kitty ones that were in smaller prints that I had to get because the girls were in larger sizes, but these ones were the smaller size that I just could not resist. Cause I mean, look how adorable these are. Ah, oh, these are so precious. So the kitties I had to get, uh, look at that, super cute. Look at the colors, I love the background on this. Like, look at that background, so cute. That one kind of reminds me, like the face of it reminds me of Mochi with her little tuxedo -ishness. And look at that, Unikitty. Colorful, so colorful. And then of course, another kitty cat. I like the Unikitty, I think the Unikitty is my favorite there. And then this one, which I thought was absolutely gorgeous. I will totally frame. This one is uh, one of the small ones that I will frame. Um, because, did, really? Eating cardboard now? What are we doing over there, little cat? No, we're not going to chew on your cardboard box. Your cardboard box has been unchewed on and untouched for, like, the last... How many months have you had that box now, Mochi? However many months that you've had it. We don't need to be chewing on it look at it it's so adorable and look at the cherry blossoms you've got the sakura oh that one's adorable this one is a must 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 frame and then look at the fact that he's even got like so this is the unicats washi tape that he is used do not chew in your cardboard box she's mad at me that i'm ignoring her like using the washi tape to tape them closed and then i have a couple like just the unicorn series I think these came as a set. Uh, I'm trying to remember. It's been a few weeks since I ordered these. But the unicorns. You've got a narwhal. Because I like my unicorns. You have an actual unicorn. You have a person dressed like a unicorn. And you have a unicorn kitty. Which I thought were just too adorable. So I had to share that art with you guys because... The prints were just too adorable and too cute, and I couldn't resist. And, you know, it's fitting. It's fun. It's adorableness. So this was my, uh, kind of my sort of diamond painting related, but not really, but yes, but no. Uh, small shop haul. It is washi tape from, you know, three shops. And, like, I mean, look at the colors of this. Like, this is just beyond, oof. I love this. Love, love, love. Like all of these colors are just so gorgeous. And I would, this one sparkles like these little beads. You, it is, I don't know if it's picking up the degree of the sparkle of this one on the camera to what it sparkles. It just sparkles so well. These are all beyond gorgeous, Bev. Beyond gorgeous. Love them all. But, anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed this. So again, to reiterate, Amanda Michelle, Simply Gilded, Bev B, and Jeremiah Kettner. And that is all I have for you guys today. 
I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I have. I was super excited to get these prints in and see them. Uh, I do want to order some prints from uh, Yume Art as well as some Sybil Art prints. Those are the two other artists that, and uh, there's another artist that uh, is not a diamond painting artist, but another one that I will uh, think you guys would appreciate uh, who would make, her art would make some adorable diamond paintings. So I will, uh, when, if I order some prints from her, which I have them like sitting in my cart on Etsy, uh, so if they come in, I'm going to order some small ones, kind of like this size, then I will share those with you guys so you guys can see the adorableness factor. But that's it for today. Uh, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Have a great day, everybody.